In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install TTS, which is a voice generation model that lets you clone voices into different languages by using just a quick three second audio clip. So what happens is that in this video, I'm going to record a very short cl audio clip in my own voice. I will save that file as a WAV file, which I already have done. You can use Windows video or audio recorder for that, or even use any online tool to record your voice. You can even use your phone to record it. Once you have a very small WAV file or WAV file, then upload it to your Linux system, Windows system, or whatever operating system you are using. Then I'm going to install this TTS uh, model, and then we will just give it a text prompt. It will convert that text prompt into audio by using the voice which we will give it as a sample okay let's see how it can be done for this demo i am using aws SageMaker notebook which is using amazon linux 2 and as i mentioned earlier you can use any operating system of your choice as long as you have python installed the first step we need to do is to install some of the prerequisite libraries transformers and tts so let me run it and install it shouldn't take too long and also you can see that on the left hand side i have this speaker.wav file which i already uploaded so what i did i just recorded my own voice for five seconds and then converted it into wav file online and i have uploaded it here so as you can see that it is installing now transformers and tts so let's wait for it to finish both of these modules are done. Now let's go to the next step. Let's scroll down to the next cell. So it has installed quite a lot of stuff, especially the TTS. Okay, now in the next step, what I'm doing is I am downloading that XTTS model from Hugging Face. Let's run it. I believe this is around 2 gig or 3 gig of file. So let's wait for it to finish downloading. It is asking to accept the license or agreement. So just type Y and press enter. And then it will start downloading the model. And as you can see, it is around 3 gig of size and ETA is under 2 minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. Also, while it runs, I would like to mention that I am using uh, AWS EC2 instance of type G4DN XLarge. And it has one GPU. So I believe you can even use it with CPU, but the performance will be very laggy. So I would highly recommend that at least you use any server instance or laptop with one GPU. And more GPUs, the more performance will be. Okay, so it is half, almost halfway done. Let's wait for it to finish. This is almost done. And now it is telling us about the model's license, which is quite permissive. And you can read more about the CPML license, which is available on this link. Let's wait for it to come back. Model is downloaded. Now let's run it. So this is the command I'm going to use to convert this text into audio. And the audio will be using my own voice, which I already have stored in this speaker.wav. So let's run it and it will generate this output.wav. It is being run. It first split the text to sentences or tokens maybe, and then it is going to convert it into audio. And it will generate this output.wav file. So let's wait for it to finish. It has finished converting my voice into this text and it has generated this output.wav file which is on the left hand side too. Let me download it to my local system and then I will play it for you. And you already have heard my voice so it will speak this sentence. This is my new clone voice in AI and stuff in my voice so you can be the judge if it 
if it is working fine or not. So I already have downloaded it. Let me play it now. This is my new clone voice in AI. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This this is my new clone voice in AI. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is my This is it. Um I think there are hints of my voice texture. I won't say that it 100% cloned my voice, but still, I think with proper training and with maybe more um, beefy system with big files, it might get close. But still, I think even with this the simple hardware with a very small file, the performance is really amazing. And I think this is only going to improve with the passage of time. All of these commands that I have used, I will put them in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.